With a few games left on the season, the Warriors faced the lottery team in the San Antonio Spurs on Friday night. Led by the Splash Brothers with a combined 64 points, Curry and Clay capitalized on the Spurs not switching off-ball picks while running the classic split action. So let's break down some of these offensive sets. In the first quarter, we have a post-split action, which is extremely effective against defenses that do not switch off-ball. Here, Dre sets a pick and the Spurs boldly go under on Steph Curry, even shutting this first action down. Now let's swing it over to Dre and Curry pretends to set a down screen with Jones in a deny position. Easy counter by Steph to slip the screen directly to the rim and Draymond fits a perfect bounce pass. Late rotation from the weak side and it's a layup for Steph. There are pros and cons to both switching and not switching off ball actions, which is why the Warriors offense is so potent. Here Kaminga tries to go for a dribble handoff but Steph points it up high to green and this immediately becomes a pin down screen for Curry to curl inwards towards his left shoulder. The Spurs are playing straight up like I mentioned but it helps that the defender does such a poor job trying to fight through the screen and Steph feels that he has so much room to launch his catch and shoot 3 and the foul, 4 point play. In the third quarter we have a high pick and roll with JK and Steph and the Spurs switch this on ball pick. Because this is a mismatch, San Antonio brings the weak side low man to shade all the way over, forcing Johnson to cover the two weak side warriors. But he should have known that Draymond's non-shooting threat and cannot sink so low, so Curry finds Clay with a tough pass, but credit Thompson for catching this and firing from deep even with a closeout. On an inbounds play designed for Clay, this was a massive miscommunication by San Antonio with off-ball screens. Lamb starts off and the Spurs actually switch his initial matchup, but this was actually a decoy as Clay immediately runs off of Kamal Looney's second screen. The Spurs are choosing to not switch off ball picks, so Gorgie Jang doesn't even try to get up top. Thompson curls off for a wide open three ball. This one is also just too easy. Classics post split action with Draymond as the decision maker, and JP comes for the split screen, and Johnson is neither in a denial stance nor chasing behind Clay. So Thompson gives a light push off on Johnson to get him stuck on the screen just a little bit more. San Antonio is not switching off ball picks, so Clay frees himself up for another open three pointer on the left wing. Another inbounds play to capitalize on this defensive game plan. Kaminga gets the ball up top and the weak side is where we have the actions. San Antonio is playing straight up, so when JP first sets the screen, there is no switching. Draymond comes for the second pick for Steph the curl, and because they did not switch, the defenders left chasing way behind Steph and gets completely stuck by the Draymond screen. Easy curl to the top for a wide open three. With a commanding 10 point lead, Dre gets the ball in the post and this time we have a triple split action. I always emphasize how this play is straight money against non-switching defenses, and here's another example of the read and react offense. Clay runs off Steph's first pick, and the Spurs actually switch this one because I believe it involved the guards. But when big men are involved, it's deathly to have the defender keep chasing, so you have to kind of pick your poison here. Thompson kind of fakes cutting to the hoop to get him off balance, then proceeds to use a second loony pick, knowing there will not be a switch. Gets a wide open three, this time on the right wing. For more or less the dagger, when Dre gets the ball, Steph cuts right to the basket. But on the weak side, Jones, who is picking up GP2 here, tries to ignore him since he isn't exactly the biggest shooting threat. So in order to make himself useful, Payne sets a brilliant fade screen on Clay's man, knowing the Spurs are not switching off ball picks. What a pass by Draymond through two defenders and credited Thompson for moving into an open area on the left wing for another catch and shoot three ball. There you guys have it, a quick breakdown of how the Warriors capitalize on the offensive game plan of running their go-to split action repeatedly to get open shots. In the read and react offense, when they go up against defenses that do not switch off ball picks, Golden State can very well create quality looks while often leaving their defenders chasing behind. If you guys like this breakdown, like and subscribe to see more.